This section of Revelator appeared in uh, the magazine Poetry, where I hold the record for being the person who's gone the longest uh, between appearances. I first appeared in Poetry before I was a student at Berkeley uh, in uh, 1969 and did not appear again for 41 years. <laughs> uh, you know, there is a real value in patience. <laughs> Words torn, unseen, unseemly seen, some far suburbs maul lot. Summer's theme, this year's humid, to sweat is to know. Pen squeezed too tight yields ink as blood or pus, so the phrase scraped, removed, offending thine eye, outsourced bush, against which, insource what? Who will do it? Most terrible predicate, high above mountain snow capped, even in August in flight motion, picture eternal sunshine of the spotless mind infuriates many no action no funny plot to dense to follow unless unless mind's eye gives attention first blackbird signals many synecdoche bumblebee wonders am i his flower one hour shopping and the vandals fled him will know not never confront so recall the next day that anger directed at complexity as we be plain in Seattle, old battle never won, never gonna, sit now still beside Dungeness River to spot quail, hopping about this untrimmed garden as dog walkers circle back, jet trail and dawn sky, thread cloud wisps, shadows sharp in the mountains. There's three dots here. I pause. Two poems, three pages before book's end. First growl of plains motor, sun higher now contracts, shadow, dandelion, froth blows over cut grass, spotted white tops of clover, something deep purple, bell-shaped, nameless. At least to me, I am what I am, <laughs> chewing endlessly until I realize I'll never swallow whatever. Jay's bark, first fog is deepest when trail ends, at first bend in the river. This in six weeks will all be swollen, salmon, frantic in their competition, men also. On the wire grid door screen, various bugs alight at dawn, drawn by the interior light. Something long with wings, something no more than a speck with legs. I scream, you scream, we all scream for that which is unnameable, unquenchable, inconsolable, deep in one's chest surrounding the heart. Art is a mode of stalking, balk at any configuration, at what's inescapably omitted. At Monticello, I very nearly wept to imagine just once the president is the smartest, most questioning, most rigorous of all. No, that's not it either. Seen, hand shielding brow, the trail ahead is empty. The man stops to unleash his dog's mist, rises from the river, bland competency distributed equally among hundreds, begets only rebellion. What winnowing from the first book to the next, the nest, Mountainside garden fountain, yellow legs and kill deer, searching the mud for tasties. Who here speaks English? Who here hark loud as grackles, incessant laugh after battle after maths, ironic sum, economy trumps all, history where now teens cluster to mock tourism's earnest gate. It looks so small because it is. Trucks evacuating quarry, deep in reverse. Diners posture alert, awaiting omelet, sausages, toast, behind whom the sun arises. White light or morning side heights. Cook hollering to the cashier in Spanish, then English, then a third language I don't understand. Cringe before that glare until muted by cloud wisps. Monastic New York hotel, deep Within shadows, what music mocks its maker? The ropes tug as dad shakes his beard, lost daughter found, then sold into marriage. In walks Bert, again, crossing into language. Subways, stairs become waterfalls under Ivan until flooding halts commute. What Milton sees the deaf hear or not, cashews, pretzels, honey-roasted sesame sticks, the earth, 
below, flat and checkered, not yet autumn, dry desert heat, heart races, arts phases, hard faces heard in place in pink marble plaza beyond which red dirt surface of Mars is not more barren. Or you are being driven along an unfamiliar route through streets of your own former home, whole neighborhoods tinged with emotion. One still dreams of jets sliding into houses, apartment complexes gone, one millisecond of stillness, then the heat and burst, an orange ball of flame explodes in the mind's eye, anxious in your hotel room's great raft of a bed. For days the networks discover new amateur videos, waves far greater than one can imagine. On the beach, bathers not even thinking to run, buses floating through streets of debris. Banda Ace, this week's geography of the public imagination. Phuket's stream of tourists washed <coughs> away. Bulldozers scooping corpses, our newscaster, alone in an empty village, only the battered mosque remains. <coughs> Where are the people? How does this outer light, apocalypse reported, penetrate my dreams? Three men on the street walking, discussing who will reach 60 when the way, as teens, we spoke of 20, not even seeing the homeless woman asleep beneath the newspaper racks at Mission and Fourth, fifth of bourbon warms, warns, passed between three beneath the bridge. Day is done, day is the ever-present challenge, wake or not. The painter Jess simply stays asleep, paint hardens, even cracks or decades. Browns grow muddy, green mute sky goes pale. In the midst of an abstract field blue, deep blue squiggles, Don Quixote approaches. What is possible? Seen, heard, a motive prosody, heart because it impacts one's breathing, gasp to grasp the truth of. What is not even visible cannot be heard. Red-haired setter, deaf to the world, lopes slowly, copes by smell, residual sight, my eyes shut. Dear Krishna, it's 6.11 a.m. Upstairs, a faucet turns briefly. Lily is grown now. Alan's hair thins at last. Melissa's perfect smile still shines, but no sign of Lulu. Time erodes what's dear, what's near. Is past too soon to grasp fully the consequence. Dawn threatens a new day constantly. Sun as vicious as dust or rather simply uncaring, birds disinterested in the infant's corpse. It's language that introduces emotion, or the other way round. My old street so narrow, two boys throwing a football would find my world unimaginable, and I'm sure theirs likewise will amaze them. How quaint that first home network seems already. Norma says of Barbara, she's there and then not, mimicking conscious more slowly now, so that others can see you feel the heat's lack, but not the wind. Wind up an old clock. Airplane, I realize, is now tracking the traffic, the early commute, first train, best train. Still, no hint of sun, but now all the trees, houses, visible in silhouette, the dog, audible by its collar, paws over hardwood, then a sigh. Across the street, windows emerge, porches, no longer just outlines, details, a larger jet now, a few cars, then many. My penmanship, more ornate today, no sign of the trembles. An instant ago, I sat in Elliot's kitchen, then taped words cut from the paper above the dog's white bowl, Good dog, the last I'd ever lived with I didn't know then. I dream you, floating, not plummeting from high off that bridge. Birds finally begin to twitter, color floods emerging day. The sun still behind the hills, face west toward whichever future comes. Mockingbird mimics dog collar, another bird's three-note peep. Discern now which jet is which. Pinks streak the high sky. I rise, eyes blink, shaking sleep away. 757 angles and fog. Bay at the runway's rim, engines raring, waiting, ready, poised, then flaring to race forward. Up over the salt ponds, half hidden in the mist. 
silhouette of the city piercing cloud, but the bridges are hidden. Inner ear, particular trumpet displays pressure, cottony wisps soon scatter. Valleys revealed, green and gold, I hold the fluted glass to cleanse the palate. Mango ice cream or the sauce, hot and sweet, spicy smoked eggplant. Rice absorbs the broth, breath, red, red ahead, too big for hats. Hands likewise, large grasp the ball with ease. To please herself, she walks on her palms, then flips upright, smiling, sees more than we know, teases younger brother, mother, dad, bad dogs, never. Stone said to contain its own sculpture towards choice, to voice vowels languidly, moist lips purse their part. There's an art to it, intuited before thought thinks. Paused at an intersection not visible from here, the blue of a perfect spring morning unimaginable above this gray crush of apartments, who here owns the slightest yard? Young man alone in Chipotle, chewing thoughtfully his large burrito, not talking, taking it all in, eyes absorbing all. Could have been had this taqueria been there then, myself in 1964. What little I knew then but could learn by doing, earn just enough to eke by, barking for the cafe wa, dying for each new customer. I lacked the huckster's flair alone, feather by a gravel road, all one needs by which to fabricate the tail, each to each, not beach exactly, but stones against the water piled up to the dock beyond which or which mockingbird hops to confront a robin, squirrel rears up to eat some morsel in the clover, each page would blow wild but for the binding stitched deep into the notebook's spine. How many words have I left? Use them wisely, sparingly. Each could outlast me. To what purpose but this compulsive record? Forward from the age of a small mid-century lad, sitting cross-legged on my bed, scribbling anything to be free, anything to make sense. Peel cellophane from a new tea carton. No indication where it's grown, Argentina. No record, no sense of that map. Haywood called his first book Cartographers. Was there ever a second? A sense now, over half a century intricate puzzle, grandmother reduced to ash, grandfather no more silent than ever just for being dead. Sip today's first tea. The warmth is the half of it. My throat first craves. Table, narrow in the kitchen alcove. West Virginia A-frame cabin clock with a different bird song for every hour. Sans kids, what have you to etch these words into time? Applause, once we cross the border, my 47th state, family myths arc over generations. John Franklin Tansley could not have known, telling any who would listen, that yes, the explorer, yes, his own grandfather, yes, but the grandson, Richard, goes back a century later, looks up, finds the marriage record, yes, John Franklin, yes, married Jane, but instead a fishmonger married a weaver's daughter. X marks the signature. How soon technology catches you out. These keys enact a surveillance that will only sink deeper over time. What you think about that, from comma to coma to commerce to con, versus sub the root marks the language's route across form, surname in the family now just four generations, but literacy not more than six. So what arrogance am I then enacting, weaving ink into paper, stains of history already blanching in the light up above? I hear you stirring, rising, at least to sit up, then slowly, quietly coming downstairs to use the bathroom. Dawn just starts to be visible through the blind, soft glow, neither blue nor green. Sun, not yet visible. Their distinct sun and the dawn, one recurs while the other stretches. Fans swirl slowly high overhead, but the wind chime is still. Why repair a rotting kitchen now? Why seek read every book if the flood won't quit even when you've left? Desire. 
Desire is the answer. Hunger never rests. Geese each dawn, now for decades, circling late until day's form is found all over again. I rise to write, sun still hidden behind hills, hummingbirds upon branch, appears so still, deep breath to taste air, first bark, first bark. Squirrel's tail twitches, causing whole branch to shake. Trains whistle deep and steady, three echoes distinct, great shushing rush of traffic. White noise forms morning music outside window. Spider quick on his thread. It's all about scale. Bicycles break squeal. Long way down. Stands on her deck naked to inspect the day. Trumpet flower. Pod yellow. Almost purple tip. Phallic before it explodes. Red, red, orange. Bright yellow center. Notebook pages dwindle. One project all not complete. That's not its point, but to stretch even just a little, shape and dimension, time and dominion, days echoes ricochet uphill, canyon to canyon. Every fold, marvelous instrument, my declining ear, here's what I cannot see, say, sheer ecstasy of breath, each day, no two alike ever, audible in head's bell, sinus sounds, own teeth, grinding until jaws, muscles, spasm, clench. Dear Los Angeles Dodgers, my bet noir not, you formed the surrogate we so desperately need, enemy, enema, it all comes out in the wash, one road south of Dogtown Garden fenced to ward off deer, plums, their skin tart, their flesh sweet and cool, I almost don't recognize the hummingbird still on the almond branch. Farms here feel vast. We missed a single turn. Bob speaks of how O becomes D or vice versa. Steve talks happily of new sun. David and I and ours eat around a front yard table just behind a small picket fence. The heat rare even here. You never see birds sleep. Hummingbirds, red crown, white chest, a view of the bay from the deck, audible neighbors, not really visible, someone's alarm reaches endless reiteration. Arise, arise, your eyes must be clear, the sound of bark different from day of my youth, thin haze but no fog, light spreads over San Francisco, clouds at first seem small until one speck of plane flies underneath, then a second absolutely crosswise. Big truck's sticker reads, give war a chance, look for the gun rack. Boat sits still in bay, who works there in silence, only because I'm too far to hear. Notebook reaches limit, not unlike mind or heart. Whole family singing Beatles songs as we drive. First thought, not your own, let alone best. Phrases weave against lines. Water comes to a boil. Squirrels rustle with the branches. One skitters across slanted roof. Mount Tam, silent as ever, only seems unchanging human scale. Clouds above have moved on, leaving new skies, sun muted still amid trees. I close my eyes just to listen, laughing jay distant train. Feel instead air over hair back my hand, its taste palpable in nostrils, eucalyptus, tea, hummingbird responds to J, jets echo heading east, sounds create, first sprinkler, bottle on table, sense of my own body, high in the Berkeley Hills. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.